Hello everybody, welcome back to Mr. B channel. So you decided to use your deck station to code PHP. In this video I'll show you two apps that you can use to basically fulfill your dream. First app is called Server for PHP and the second app called An Writer Free. So let's jump in straight to a Google Play Store and I, show you, I will show you both of them. So PHP Server, I should just search for PHP Server. One of the first results are basically the first result it's a server for PHP and um, from uh, the readme or basic description I can say that it's pretty much supports a lot of modules and it runs a PHP server on your Android device and most important this is totally free no ads and open source credit goes to a developer Totvigdas Andrikis from his name I believe he possibly is from Lithuania I just want to find out that now let me quickly see where he is based okay nothing else just s minus s minus tashkas lt so basically he is he is from Lithuania according to the email address because dot lt is Lithuanian domain so here we are and this is free to use and no as nothing you just run it start the server and you have a PHP server working the second app you will need called AN AN Writer. AN Writer it's a, a free HTML editor, but it supports PHP code as well. So as you can see, uh, where it is uh, in support um, uh, to, 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 to supports. Come on, it supports completing. So right. Um, here we have syntax highlighting for HTML, CSS, Java, XML, PHP, SQL, and etc. But with a paid version, you get the syntax completion. So if you start typing, for example, I don't know, echo or, or let's say um, function, and these unique keywords on the PHP will be auto completed if you have the the um, the paid version. But with the free version, it works perfectly fine as well. So um, if I start my PHP server app, it opens like this, and right now I have, and basically tells me an option. I can uh, in the beginning this one will have nothing here, so you'll have to install your PHP but server or PHP version. So currently I'm using 7.2.9, 7.2.9. There is a newer version. So if I go and change it, I can choose which one I want to use. Let's say you're coding something that's compatible for all the versions, but not the newer ones. So you see, I, I chose this one to use. And, but there is a, this one available and I can't remember why it chose or oh, because it's beta 1 or something right no problem so um, I'll just chose that for for this demo purpose that's fine um, it gives you an address where the PHP file needs to be uploaded so it's storage emulated 0 www so if I open my file file browser which I'm using right now CX file manager if I go to main storage on my phone and if I go down and uh, nearly the, at the end of this folder structure I'll find www inside will be public and in there as you can see I have a couple of files which is test mp and mr. P PHP index and etc these last two is basically created by me I was messing about so let's say I will just delete them so delete and rest of the files are basically what is being automatically generated when you are starting the server for PHP app and address ports exactly tells you basically which address you need to use if you click change uh, it gives you options which one you want to use uh, from all this list my phone currently is connected via it's connected via data network which is not good it needs to be on a Wi-Fi so let's install or en enable the Wi-Fi so let's give a second or so for signal to start Wi-Fi comes in okay I'm on a Wi-Fi so this is gives me my external links but I'm gonna use 192.168.1.239 this is where my server my by PHP server IP addresses and I need to use 8080 as a port so that's it as you can see 192.168.1.239.880 and just click on here and start the server so let's wait for a second or so to start and as soon as it starts 
I will get the link above the button, which is going to take me straight to the to the um, this email uh, this link. So server running on 192.168.239.88. So if I open up, I get the standard standard built-in PHP site. So this is what I see, and if you see this page, it means everything's working correctly. Next thing, let's open up my AN writer. As you can see, I was start messing about. I was just messing about yesterday. So let's say I don't delete all this. Let's delete all this and let's say let's write a PHP code. So uh, PHP and okay. And between them, let's say I wanna print on a screen. Subscribe. So this is basically just the simplest ever PHP file. So what I'll do now, I'll click on the file save as and now I need to navigate to this folder which is storage emulated zero and it, as it's saying on the even a website you can install any PHP software you want manually uh, by putting in into a storage emulated zero www.public so I need to go all the way down find my www which is here then inside public this is the file Mr. P so let's change that to sub scribe.php and click save so this is file saved inside the root folder for php server so if i go here and i change this to subscribe.php as you see i got the text here so let's do something else let's say um, by the way tab is working so you can indent or etc so if i go back so let's say uh, this again standard things like comments out and etc working inside this uh, text editor so let's quickly do number one will be equals to five number two will be equals to eleven for example and uh, total equals let's say number one times number two plus number two times number one and then I want to see result on the screen Control s the keyboard shortcuts working with this editor no problem as well so if i go here and i reverse this page 110 is it 110 i don't know Let, let's increase this uh, let's do some stupid numbers here so f let's do this and then this Control s for save f5 refresh and this is the number um, let's see if you can actually print pi. I don't really know. So pi, um, there is a function for this. I'm, I'm basically st I start learning PHP slowly. And here we are. This is the the way you can practice on your deck station using a PHP server. J that's all you need is two apps. One of them is called PHP for a server for PHP, a free available in the Android Play Store. And the second one is A and Writer free, available for free in the Play Store as well. And you can just install, run it with no problems at all, and practice PHP. The downside is that it's only running PHP. If you want something like MySQL uh, database or etc., you obviously need to uh, download additional apps like Meradius DB Server, which is created by the same developer. You can use this as a separate be separate uh, mysql file there's a lot of them he's he's got the apache and and then rest of the um basically apps created for you to host the website but in next video i will show you one off app which one you can use it and everything combines into one which is called key s web and the next video will show you how you can use this app and have your own wordpress server website running on your android so whatever you go your wordpress site is hosted on your phone thank you very much for watching and goodbye